Hi everyone, Diani here. Have you ever wondered if writing SQL statements could be faster and more efficient than using Fetch XML to query data in Power Platform or Dynamics 365? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you on how to enable the TDS feature in Power Platform, which allows us to connect our Power Platform environment with SQL Server and write SQL queries against it. And guess what? We'll also introduce you to a powerful plugin in XRM Toolbox that makes writing these queries a breeze. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. By doing so, you'll stay updated with exciting content on the Power Platform, Dynamics 365, development, and many more. Your support means a lot to us. To begin, we need to enable the TDS feature in Power Platform. If it's not already enabled, open your browser and go to make.powerapps.com. Once the page is loaded, click on the Power Platform in the sitemap and then select the Power Platform Admin Center. Here we have the Power Platform Admin Center. Let's close the welcome dialog to proceed. Click on the environment label. and then select the environment where you want to set up the TDS feature. Once it's open, click on the settings for the environment. And expand on the product section and select features. Scroll down to locate the TDS feature. If it's already turned on, great. But if not, simply enable it using the toggle switch. Once you're done, click on the save button to apply the changes. There you have it. The TDS feature is now enabled in our environment. Now let's connect SQL Server to the Power Platform environment. Go back to your environment and copy your organization URL. We will need this later. Open your SQL Server Management Studio and in the Connect to Server dialog, paste the URL we copied earlier. Append a comma and the port number 5558. This is the same for all environments. Change the authentication to Azure Active Directory Universal with MFA if it is MFA, like in my case. Click Connect. You'll be prompted to enter and verify your credentials. Once you're connected, you can now query the database. Remember, this connection is read-only, so no updates, deletes, or create operations are possible. Let's try out some queries, like select the top 20 records from the contact table. As you can see, the results are displayed on the screen. You can copy and save the results based on your use case or requirements. But wait, there's more. We can make our operations even more powerful using the XRM Toolbox. If you don't have the XRM Toolbox installed, check out one of our videos where we go in depth on how to install it and getting started. Today's plugin is SQL for CDS. If you don't have it installed, search for SQL for CDS in the Tools Library and install it. When you search for SQL in the Tools tab, you will find SQL for CDS. Open up the plugin, connect it to your environment you want to use the plugin on. And we are ready to go. Fantastic. Now with the SQL for CDS plugin, it's like we're working in SQL Studio, but with more features for Power BI and other tasks. Let's write a SQL select statement like we did before.
and then update one of the records. Look at that. The record is updated in Dynamics 365 or your Power Apps environment. For those of you dealing with complex queries, this plugin has got you covered. You can format your queries to make them more readable. And if you're a pro SQL developer, you'll appreciate the option to convert SQL queries to fetch XML for your development tasks. This makes it super convenient. The fetch XML can be tested in the fetch XML builder. Ensuring you get accurate results. Lastly, Power BI Developer, listen up, you'll love this. This plugin allows you to generate Power BI M queries to build reports directly from your Power Platform or Dynamics 365 data. See how easy it is to create Power BI M queries. Now you can build reports seamlessly. And that's a wrap for today's video. We've shown you on how to enable the TDS feature and use the SQL for CDS plugin to supercharge your Power Platform and Dynamics 365 experience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow developers. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.